I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Georgia's coaches admitted to us that they game plan around this guy. It's kind of different for a wide receiver. It's usually a running back or a quarterback, but he's paid off for him so far. He really has, and I, I found it very refreshing as we travel around the country and, and visit with so many of these players to find a high-profile wide receiver who's a selfless guy. He's a great leader from everything that they've told us. He's a guy that wants to go out there and make sure that the team gets the win first before he gets his catches. Kind of a rare breed in today's game of college football, but he's an exceptional player. First guy on the field and the last guy off at practice. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. No gain on the play. That brings us 3rd and 12. Let's go, baby. Mike check, 33. 33. Check 26, check 26. On the throw, incomplete pass. Pickings was the intended receiver on that pass. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Fights forward to about the 49. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. Rose and it's knocked away. This is a well-prepared defense. They know where to be and they know what their opponent likes to do. And they play tight coverage as well. Third down and they need to get it inside the 43. Rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Schwartz was the intended receiver on that way. That makes it fourth and eight. Marshall is the punter. And this one is a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. And a quick throw. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. to the receiver and he's got it again he's tackled at the 48 a nice looking play that time well the defense was blitzing here and again great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver he steps out at the 48 yard line Slings it. And they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. And a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. Somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. From the 39-yard line, second down. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. Gaining 
Throws complete. He's got room to work. Touchdown! He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a seven-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. So our score, 7-0. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. The Bulldogs really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbert. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Complete. He's got room. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. Stokes makes the tackle at the 31-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Gets out to about the 31. Taken down at the 33. Nix comes away with two yards on the quarterback keeper. Robertson back to return it. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 43. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation. Fumble! It's recovered. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost them. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Georgia is up by a touchdown. Here we go. Red. Check, check. Eagle. They hand it off. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a deep down around the 42 yard line everybody was fooled on that one hey that was a good job here by the quarterback that could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this they'll bring him down at the 22 yard line not the greatest pass but a really really good play by the receiver to bail out his quarterback they come out in a five wide set around the 21-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Nice run, and he's brought down. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Georgia is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. Into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Georgia is looking awfully impressive right now on defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ballgame. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. And he hits him hard at the 16-yard line. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. And he's tackled around the 18-yard line. He heaves it deep. Can't connect. I'll tell you, if he put a little bit more air under that ball, that would have allowed the receiver to run right underneath it and catch it right in stride. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Makes it out to about the 36. Quick pass, and he's tackled right away. Jackson picks him up six yards with a catch. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He makes his way to about the 18. Hopefully he's going to be okay. From the 18-yard line, first down. The 10, and he shoved out of bounds at the 6. There he goes. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Room around the corner. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. And he tackles him hard at the 36. That's good for a gain of three yards. First down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. On the handoff, 
big hit, and he'll lose yardage. They'll line it up again on third down. The Bulldogs' running game really took a big hit. Their key back went out earlier with the injury. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. Quick toss. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. He was that close to making a big play. His safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. Marshall is waiting for the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Brought down at the 26-yard line. One of the nation's top talents really struggling in this one today. Pickens' big playability was supposed to be on display, and yet he's trying to find any kind of rhythm. And we've seen the team rally around him, though, and they got the lead here. Yeah, and Brad, this defense has done just a great job of being able to take him out of this game today. They've been able to just limit his touches. Yet for some reason, they still find themselves trailing in this game. So I think it's a good example of how one player can alter a defensive game plan and really puts this defense in a position where they're going to have to make some adjustments here and try to put more pressure on this team to get the ball back to their own. And he stopped behind the line. No game. That'll bring up third and eight. And it's the senior. That's a great tackle at the 39. And here's a quick throw. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play. But he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy. But you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. Over the middle to his tailback. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. Number 21 on the tackle at the 43-yard line. That makes it third and seven. Quick throw, and he is drilled at the 48. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires it out. The 10. Tackled inside the five-yard line. He diagnosed the blitz immediately and had time to improvise for the big play. That's the kind of quick thinking you need to succeed as a quarterback. And he's level at the two. McIntosh comes away with two yards on the carry. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making space because that was just a punishing hit. Shows some moves and he's in. And he hits the PAT. So a nine play, 73 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. The score now, 24 0. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 28. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Fires out to his receiver, and he's immediately tackled. And they get five yards from that completion. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. He makes his way to about the 45. Auburn will have one timeout remaining. First and 10. Ball on the 45 yard line. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's bring it. Going long. 
Keeps a foot in and pulls it down. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. the 23-yard line. It's second down. Rifles this one out to the left. And he can't hang on to it. to catch it. He's got nowhere to go. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Somebody jumped early down there. All start offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. It's up, and it's good. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 24 to 3, Georgia. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. First half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms. Georgia's got a three-touchdown advantage. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Neither ground game got much going in the first half, averaging a little less than three yards per rush. David, as you look at this, uh, look, you always hear the term, get the offense behind the chain. When oh, yeah. you get them in long yardage situations, what does that do for you? Well, it's, it's so much fun. You start with a defensive line, you know it's a pass. You get to fly up field as fast as you want to. It's not third and three where you're sitting in a situation where they could run or they could pass, and there's a little bit of doubt in your mind when you're coming. You fly up field, you rush the passer. Everybody knows that the sticks are a little bit further back, so DBs can back up a little bit and play to the sticks as opposed to playing third and short situations. It makes it easier on a whole defense. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kurt, ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He'll take it from the two. Brought down by the kicker. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. Here's an opening. 
And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want to know. First down. Williams up the gut. Runs outside for a nice game. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. And they make the stop at around the 50. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Steps out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, first down. Down at the 30. And down he goes at the 31 yard line. You can't teach instinct. The ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has. That was a terrific effort. Get to that quickly. Tackle at about the 27-yard line. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he nails the long field goal. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 24-6, to six, Georgia. Auburn is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 19-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Ball start. Offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Here we go. And he just gets rid of it. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. So the sack makes this third and very long. Here we go. Here they come. He lets it fly. And he's tackled around the 26-yard line. Tackle made to the 23-yard line. Daniels gains around three yards on the option play. Makes it out to about the 10. Got his receiver 
dropped it. Incomplete. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. We've got second and goal. Ball on the 10-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the seven-yard line. Let's go, let's go. That makes it third and goal. And they get the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks up, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. Tackle at the 26. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. He makes his way out to about the 35. That brings up second and nine. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game seven on the play. Oh, you got deep. First down. Mike 17. Mike 17. He's into the open field. Gets out to around the 45. That's good for a game of 13 yards. First down. Mike 17. Mike 17. And he hits him hard at the 44. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. Goes right, picked off. The pressure up front is really what did it. The coverage was good, and maybe it confused him, but it was the heat that forced the bad throw. From their own 27-yard line, it's first down. They come out in a five-wide set. They'll drop him for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Pickup. That's three down and one to go. The Bulldogs with a three touchdown advantage. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down at the 35. That'll make it fourth and two. And they're coming after this punter. Booming kick. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. The 
the quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he shoved out of bounds around the 45-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He scrambled. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. That's a down and two. That makes it second and eight. He steps out at the 49. Excellent open field tackle. Still trying to tackle at the 42 yard line. First touchdown. Mike 17. Check 99. Check 99. He's out of bounds around the 35 yard line. Game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Mike 17. Mike 17. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Nice run there. That's a game of four. First down. tries to buy some time and he's going to come up with a sack they come up to the line here it's second down and 14 after the sack Bounds around the 27 yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and six. Check three, check three. Here we go. Go out. Watch the four. Scrambling around. And he's taken down around the 20 yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Here we go. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Just under three to go in regulation. And a quick throw. Knocked out of bounds around the 13-yard line. Third down. Caught and he steps out of bounds. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination to get it. And he's level at the two yard line. This is play number 15 of a very impressive drive. Touchdown, Tigers! And he adds the extra point. A long 15-play, 71-yard drive, and the result, seven points. The score now, 27-13. He's hammered down. 
So the hands team does their job, and the onside is not successful. When people talk about special teams winning football games, they're usually talking about blocking kicks and big returns. But the onside return team can be just as important. And right now, these guys may have sealed the deal with that recovery. Tackled for a loss. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Gives it right side. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Auburn's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 33. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. A gain of about four yards on the draw. The Tigers using their third and last timeout. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Time's becoming a factor now as the offense takes over after the punt. They need to score here, then recover an onside kick and score again. Although this game isn't over yet, I just don't think they can accomplish that feat with this much time left in the game. That's a great tackle at the 29. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings in second and one. The spike will stop the clock. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And he can't get away from the pressure. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It's going to be interesting to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. in the deep pass and they make the stop at the 31 just over a minute in the fourth quarter caught and he's hit immediately and he stops the clock with a spike Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Roger, Roger. 17. Mike 17. He passes it. Finds the freshman. Splits the uprights with the extra point. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. From the 45-yard line, second down. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Bulldogs get the win, 27-20. Kurt, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play.
EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.